He does more like trading uh, stuff now. His, his stuff was really good for that. It is interesting. His his approach to the mental coach is actually a lot different to uh, the current mental coach. Or oh, that's not how you want to start it off. It's a missed eye. The eye normally goes up here to spot. Okay, so Leviathan on the defense, DRX on the attack as we see them just instantly just B crunch. I say B crunch, not too much pressure on short. There's a one man person on short. He's probably going to get shut. Dude, I'm so surprised that this guy managed to stay alive on short here. I thought he was going to fall away on short, but he's actually re uh -oh. double stack here. This is nice work. double stack. Leviathan Not going to expect the guy behind, but it. Frenzy runs Perfect. out of bullets. Perfect. Really nice from Stop. Leviathan. I think this is a very good way to start off. Absolutely. Again, this is yeah, their I mean, first game uh, on land because they, um, at, at least in champs, but, um, sorry, in masters, because they skip groups. Um, doing something aggressive, three man pushing to B main, I think that's very good. Kind of take the, instead of just waiting, everyone maybe maybe everyone's a little bit nervous, just taking the round into your own hands. Um, so I very much like their push from um, like their push from Demon. Yeah, it, it was it was really good. Knife got two. Uh, Tara went down, pushed in three here. They wanted to like kind of kind of crunch from short. Um, no, I don't think it is. I'll come back to the but, same comment. It, it, it's very difficult to execute this, and then I mean, it, it was just good. So, right? like, are a very, very so now good tech boss. Pampok special. Yeah, a wide variety to, to this mm. default, right? Being versatile, and the one thing is, is once they feel this pressure on one side, they capitalize on it. Whether they lose out these engagements, usually it results in some kind of control or progress towards another site. So, uh, but uh, the key thing still remains for me to see the early indicator, especially on the defensive half. It is a I'm not positive. sure, Ghost, because so see, I'm the opposite of that. I, I wasn't that curious when I was younger to learn things, and now I'm like, now I enjoy learning things. But you're also still very young. So I didn't really like. To start that until I was like 25, honestly. Like, I didn't enjoy. Like, education at school and stuff was okay, but I didn't really enjoy, like, the whole setup of school. Um, I liked learning, like, stuff that I wanted to learn about, if that makes sense. As of course, we're in a tech pause. We've got time. Thank you, uh, everyone, for this. It is now in my contract that we need to waffle for at least five minutes. Um, I do want to talk about DRX and expectations. Do players change right, gear in tech balls? No, the, no, no. The they can do if oh, it's broken. You, know, you look at them on paper, you look at the performance coming into every event, you're like, fantastic. Now, they do well regionally. They look, they it looks like they're the all... It looks but like they're talking the, about. So you're not allowed to talk in in tech pauses unless like you're trying to correct the gear. So it sounds like they're trying to sort. Of they uh, I mean, sounds like they're just trying to sort the team comes out. How old am I now? I'm 32 now. So yeah, that's a while ago. Thirty-three soon. Yeah, that's actually very true. August. I'm an August boy. Same birthday as. Bacon. Same day. Okay, this is the eye that's meant to happen. Meant to go out here, meant to spot a lot of middle. Knife goes in as well, so nice to see that hits. DRX now on an eco. Um, chamber is getting baited in from that jump spot now. And a three play stack towards middle. And oh, swiftly handled by That's so nice. Again, reading through people's thoughts and expectations for the side. He's one of the players that was certainly a name that was um, calling a lot of attention if he has a good game. Okay, they get a kill. To look out for. Chamber manages to pick up the gun that's dropped, so they didn't actually lose any guns because Chamber, um, Taco didn't have a gun, and then now he picks up the gun that was dropped from the server, so really nice uh, bonus round from Leviathan here. Um, it's a good start from them. Either get an early pick or... Yeah, with a little proactive play on either side toward the north, maybe even get that up. And, uh, uh, Jake, uh, thanks so much, bro. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well, dude. Okay, so now we have the straight up bonus round. As we can see, the Taco is just going to use his uh, sheriff. Good to note that Taco is one away from his ult, so next round he could decide to use his ult. Hey, really, really nice, uh, really nice strat here's just come out from Leviathan. Um, Okay, so you know how Astra's, and like this is, this is more doable because of the big Astra smokes now. 
the big ash to smoke oh, now uh, means that it touches the floor here. Really so what they actually decided to do is do the normal uh, do the normal star right do the normal smoke that uh, prevents people from crossing. Um, and then what they did with it was they actually got close, went for the recon to hit, and actually pushed through their their own one way. So this was really really nice. Um, good good to see that they had a good pistol round and they had a good plan for their bonus as well. They didn't actually manage to catch anyone from it, um, but it was really good. The thing that I like from DRX here as well is they lost A main control, they went and got A main control, and now they're looking ready to burst back into A. Back in return on Leviathan, them getting information constantly from uh, from the Prowler and, and the Fade is actually going to... I think DRX have done fantastic into this round so far. The fact that they managed to get seen here, which means that they manipulated the rotator so there's three people over towards B, so when they hit this site now, we can see there's only two people here. That first kill from Taco is everything. Oh my god, okay, he's sick. Gets the first kill, gets his ult like I talked about, and hits two sick shots. That was really fast that uh third shot really good the again leviathan actually did um did incredibly well now makes it so difficult for marco to come through i think leviathan might even push through here they, they, they did so good. Ta Taco, it looks like Taco kind of did it all on his own. Um, he kind of did, but it's just worth mentioning the uh, the amount of util that prevented people from getting out. Right, the actual util that prevented people from getting out and being able to trade the um, to trade RB as RB dashed in. So the Viathan did everything great here. Um, really like their plan on the bonus round. Really like DRX's mid rounding to go back and, and to hit it because they had map control here. Oh, that's unlucky. One win and they secure. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's something to put in the back of your mind. Absolutely. That was that was fast. Though. <laughs> Those shots were fast. <laughs> Imagine that. You're, you're, you're looking at Avery and you're getting into your group. You're like, okay, who's our first game? Who do we get? Maybe a, a nice opponent. Okay, oh, I can see why people... I'm, I'm three rounds in and I can already see why so people are people rating uh, Taco. That was very fast. Uh, instigator to creating room, space, a little bit of that flair to it. Um, and his operator work is exceptional. So we're already starting to see glimpses of that very early on here, sitting at 8 to 1. Don, mind, what's up, dude? The total of DRX's impact so far is 3. So this man already has been just running rampant around this map. I think he's just explaining exactly how he just wants. No, I like that. That well. was very technical. Thank you. <laughs> you just. But yeah, I mean, the, the timing <laughs> on the tour de force there is crazy. Yeah. Three, um, actually, I mean, six, nine, one, two. Thank you so much. Welcome into the slug club. Appreciate using a prime on me. Thank you so much, chat. Yeah, good. We're getting him in. Nice amount of slugs. Welcome in the new member. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate the support, dude. Pretty much deciding the round. It's so late on. It's past 30 seconds by the time they even dash onto yeah. the side. Another little technical pause here. What is DRX doing wrong? It's ah, nothing, bro. It's, it's way too it's early. It's way too early. I think that he played that round perfectly. So it's way too early to, to it, say that anything's even wrong. At the, the moment, fashion. I've just been impressed by Leviathan for sure. Um, Ducks777 seven, seven, seven um, with the Prime so and Koinasis as well with the Prime. Guys, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate that. And Earthquake as well. Two months. Love your streams. Thank you so much, bro. Chad, thank you for all the support. This is This is really nice. Thank you so much. Chat, let's fill the board up with a lot of slugs. There's a tech pause. We've got nothing else to look, nothing else to look at. We've got a lot of support here right now from from uh, from you guys. Thanks so much. From Craze, Quinassus, Earthquake, Dali. Thank you so much. And Grantmeister and DB Claw as well. Grantmeister with the normal sub. Thank you so much. And DB Claw with the Prime. Chat, welcome them into the Slug Club. Thanks so much. Guys, appreciate it. Sticking egg with your fast slugs as well. Chat, thanks so much, guys. This is uh, really nice. I do appreciate the support. The other thing is, is their first blood. Nice, what a what a nice way to, to fill the tech pause. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you lot are crazy. Stunt ban with the prime as well, and nard underscore the underscore bard. Dude, this guy has missed this twice now. He has missed this twice. Stunt bam with the prime, nard the bard. Thank you so much, chat. You're doing great at getting the slugs up. Thank you so much. I do, again, I do really, really appreciate it. And welcome into the slug club, guys. Okay, so we have uh, two hero guns coming out. Wow, okay. Two hero gun guns coming out on uh, DRX. They managed to get a trade out of this. 
Not cryptics as well. What's up, dude? Oh, I like this hit. He dashed in and looked down the lane. Uh, cryptics are. I'll wait for this round. Because this, this turns into a 3 on 3. Chat, get some slugs in either way. Uh, not cryptics with the prime. Thank you so much, bro. I'm just going to put some slugs in chat for you as well, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for using your primes on me, guys. Up towards Cat. Like first That's a big kill. That's a big trade. This becomes this is really close two on two. If, if the RX can win this, this is pretty huge for them. Oh. I'm not sure he had to take that swing. Okay. Really important king, uh, kill from King there. Really, really nice. Uh, Kim Chungu and Dead Pancreas. What's up, guys? Thank you so much. All with the prime. So many primes today, guys. Thank you so much for using them for me. I appreciate it. Um, this was a really close round. Really, really close round. Uh, Right, they're so quick at calling these audibles on the back of that kind of contact coming out from the defender's side. So, it, but it's it's such a curious thing. Normally, if you if you lose that first kill, right, traditionally. Hey, this is this was a good round from DRX to get this as close as well. So they'll be pretty happy with that eco for sure. Oh my god! Okay, this guy's pumped. We like seeing the coach replays when they're like this. But it puts DRX in such uh, Nos X as well with the prime. Thank so you so much. Long. Right, we have the timeout now. Um, probably from DRX. This was, they, no matter what happened in this last round, they were going to use this uh, attack force. So that could be concerning because the one thing coming. They were ready for this. They, they managed to now get a buyout. Um, they at least did a good amount of economy damage. So this is a really important round for them to make sure that the Vyfans, uh economy doesn't get out of control. They are getting 2,900 after every uh, round that they lose from now on. So they're they're in a okay position. It's not a great start though. I knock 91 as well. Thank you so much, bro. With your prime as well, I appreciate it, dude. Welcome into the slot club. And the big G69, of course, that's the number you chose. Welcome into the slot club. Thank you so much, boys. Appreciate it. Thanks for using your primes on me. I do massively appreciate it again, once again. What's up, Yunsu? I'm going to keep my eyes trained on this guy as well. My eyes on the money as well. Look at what Leviathan have got behind us here. Okay. Recon going in at middle. Uh, operator comes out and operator gets spot. We have recon in return. Okay, recon in return here, and and we saw the eye. So, getting a lot of control over towards B, a lot of information. They really want to find out who is over towards B. Um, they managed to, with all this util as well used, they managed to get the chamber back onto the angle that was pushed off the angle. So, Leviathan had done really good at just holding onto B main. Uh, DRX, I didn't see if they took A main, but they've at least created the question mark here because they don't have control. So, they've at least, I'm pretty sure, created pressure over towards A main. Now, we're going to have a group back to B, and they're going to have to push this guy off the angle. As we can see, uh, where are we at? We do have a Prowler, so Prowler's going to come in, Chamber's going to shoot, use the TP, so they perfectly get into this angle, good use of util, and here comes the hit. Knife does hit the KO, uh, sorry, hits the Chamber, so very good positioning, really nice hit. Really, really nice hit so far with DRX. Let's see what the Chamber can do back to the site. Really nice recon to get that kill. Oh man. This is so precarious, so dangerous. Place to left, place to right. Finds one more. What? The support's there. The system God, comes in. He really in. doesn't the want to use his operator. He's just, just really him. feeling so Marco confident now. with the, no with the sheriff here. This looks so good, he did great, though. I'm really impressed with his team when the when he started calling the people on site to actually come in with him and help him out. Uh, 1v2 now for Mako. He does take a, take a lot of damage. He has to respect it. Marco still looking for something. 13 seconds. Really good utility usage from, honestly, both teams. Oh, nice one. shot, unlucky. Mako well, gave it a good enough? attempt, four kills Leviathan for him. Uh, Leviathan, honestly, Taco more. back a site here. Has the fact that he's the last alive is really impressive ago. from I just mean, the rest of the team, right? He's the, like the person said, that's probably isolated on his own. He's the person, when we're looking at the minimap, probably is the first to die, When like at least what we think, when we're looking at, like, if we paused it on the head. So the fact that he's playing so passive and the rest of his team are just coming, like, see the rest of his team just coming out, especially when the smoke, the smoke disappears. I missed a sub here, right? Uh, I mean, this is almost spiral out of control very quickly. We're around six now. Swarlies. Eight mumps. Sheriffs and a marshal. Eight mumps in the slug club. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you for using Prime on me on eight mumps, man. That's mad. Thank you, dude. Um, okay, so 
Leviathan in a really good position. DRX have to eco again. We have uh, two orcs out for them. We've got three sheriffs. Uh, the other team. Okay, at least for, at least for DRX, the money on Leviathan isn't too bad. It's it's like it's good. It's good for them, but it, it could be a lot worse being 5 0. So they kind of need to carry on getting some kills. And it looks like that's not going to happen. Really nice shutdown from him. Solo on his own at short really shut it down. Dude, this team looks great so far. It's lovely work from Leviathan. Six this to team zero. looks really good so far. Okay, let's, let's roll it back to the start. My favorite phrase. We love to do it. We were... I say we, I was a little bit concerned with the Ascent pick, I knew that DRX are good at this, but um, I'm seeing why, they, they look great. now looking like one of the most alpha approaches versus DRX here on Ascent. I mean, there's there's very little going wrong for Leviathan right now. Everything's going right. They look so well prepared, individually, fiery, proactive. They're a scary team. Like, I'm actually a little... A little in love right now. This is okay. Six nil. Uh, what do we got? And let's let's not forget. We're into the buy and yeah. Talk about this. Is oh, I respect this that. So they actually aggressive. had nothing top team. middle, I so I don't know if that's like something that they've noticed where DRX just never take middle um, early on. Um, wait, who did DRX play? Nah, I can't. I can't remember it, so I'm not sure if that's a thing. But either way, it, it, it felt like uh, it felt like they knew that they don't swing middle really heavy, so he felt. Although it looked risky to us, I don't know. It, it kind of felt in control because they hadn't been swinging top mid too too much. So I liked the risk from him. Uh, I'm not even sure if it was a risk if they've done their homework. It, it felt like it might not have actually been much of a risk. Either way, it looks like Leviathan have definitely done a lot of work. Um, so that's impressive. Um, King now has his all because um, he might have had his all before the kills. I didn't see. Okay, he does pop it. Does he pop it? Yeah, he did pop it. Okay. I should probably turn the sound up a bit. Okay, this is a really nice round from DRX. This is probably the best they're looking to win into this. Really important kill for Buzz. The fact that he gets the second there. Let's see what this guy can do on site. They played it great. This is such a this is such an odd position to be in. They're walking into a trap. He spotted RB, but now the problem's he's been noted. Good work in the end by Marco to just two on two. Keep an eye on the chamber. The chamber's here extremely early. The chamber should be getting the next kill. He's so quick to it. He's just Ooh. shotted the heels, drawn in closer, biding the time. It's a shot in the back of the head. The lockdown and he spotted him there. Nowhere, buzz one wow, one okay, really nice from Taco. So much uh, so much fell. impact. He's he's 12 and 2 right now, but he's really getting important kills as well. A, a lot of times as well, they're like trading insanely well. Um, so that's really nice. I mean, like, they're just playing a perfect. Round, they're switching up positions. There's a different agent in a different position every single seven nil. Starts. The DRX this learn nothing, and they're seven behind. Really now. good. We've seen such a good um. Wow. Such right. a good approach. Everything is. It feels like this taco guy has full freedom as well. We're seeing him be absolutely everywhere, right? So far, we've seen him be wine. We've seen him go for the pick middle. We've seen him be holding B main. So I like that. I like that they just give him full freedom. Again, when a player's as good as this guy, um, I think you just have to do it. It's and it's it's really nice just as a IGL to have an operator who literally just goes, "I want to play here now," and then you have loads of reactive stuff on the other side of the map. Um, especially with especially when Chambers just so strong i think it's a really good way to approach the game like again chamber is just the best agent by quite a clear margin that's a really nice way to approach this okay good hit this is a good reaction wow uh, it's, it's a shame the comms didn't come in there the comms didn't come in that the uh the, the alt killed the guy that was wine i'm pretty sure because he would have maybe known that it was clear and then would have faced this angle a bit more either way it turns into a two on three uh the alt was really nice it actually got him a few kills here as well so good run from drx i thought the um i thought the reaction from mouser here was incredible yeah they actually gonna win this one v one v uh one v one to try and get one on the board. Tap on the spike. Versa trying to draw the attention, trying to draw Marco out, gets it to halfway. Taps it again. Sits on it, finds it, Marco. Ice cold there. Nerves of steel. Ice cold. Okay. And they needed that. And it's they very much one. needed that. Operator on the floor, they decided not to pick it up. Um, really build any momentum behind that. 
the ultimate cycle way up. They use two ults well into this, RX. so it's like Finally, maybe not Marco repeatable. Uh, Sorry, again, Leviathan, no good thing from them no is that they so, yeah, killed uh, killed four, film. so they kept the money really low for DRX, I mean, so money is still not good. Some of the fundamentals that usually look so strong for them. See what they can build off this Let's actually now. look at the money, yeah. So. And now, you know the loss bonus I said really early on they were going to get 2-9? Oh, the loss bonus is now reset, so if they lose this, uh, they're 100% equoing four people that can't buy. Um, RB, if they do lose it, will be able to all. And that's honestly a scary all with him. Um, Taku brings his all out into it. He has a Spectre as backup. Again, he does have enough money for a rifle, but again, they want to just try and make sure that they can get as many buy rounds as possible. So he has got a backup gun, but it's the Spectre. I think it's a smart move. Shai has his all, and Mausa has his all. This right, this right here is just a really big round for how the rest of this half's going to play out like insanely big round if if you're leviathan you want to use all of these orts in, into this round really to try and secure it that's unlike from him i like i like the idea when he heard the when he heard the um prowler going through he knows that they're probably following it has a chance to get it so i think that was smart from him i think he jump peeked i was looking at the mini map but uh <laughs> haven't seen a jump peek for a while some people like doing it still don't expect Leviathan to really adapt off the back of that. King will be in a position to shut the short push down. Get a lot of information on the back of that. I should have heard the dash through as well, so three accounted for now. Any damage would be impressive, and actually King's still going to get buzzed, but look towards the site. King's now nice from run. RB. RB is doing Re really good, really Sight good. And again, they're having a lot of success, and, and that's actually the uh, first time not, we've seen them go uh, through window. Dude, this Averso like guy, every time this gets two. Them, it Brings it down to a two and two, really important oh, two and two again, like money was. implications I said earlier. One towards hell. They've got to find them both. Dude, it's yeah. I, get, I was gonna say, I feel like he's too far out. Wow, nice from these guys. They are all just coming alive. Every single time, someone's getting. Every single round, everyone's getting like two kills. Um, DRX definitely having a lot of success at using window on on um on jungle. Um, we're seeing a smoke here a lot of the time. They're going in, but these retakes so far, really good. I mean, I'm, I'm blown away right now. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, crazy. That's crazy that he gets those two kills. Second, wow. Wide in the open. It's not even like he resets after the first. <laughs> yeah, they are riding the wave right now. Uh, and they got DRX the sweating. This is where potentially... A1, they have to eco. You see, you see how the coach is reacting to that? He knows how big this round is. It's huge. This is this might be one of the most dominant halves we've seen. Stunning work. Shy has to handle. It's coming towards him. Tries to slow down the roll, and RB does get slow. Gets held back at the doorway. Do they Uto usage is pretty legit. Bail out the boys on the site. Is RB still going to go forward? Sloppy from RB just walks right on in. Adverso happy with it. Taco's there. Well, maybe it was Stax's flash. Easy light work for Shy. Leviathan are reigning supreme. They're Gorgeous they're doing great. You know when they go into B and they're falling back, they're doing this great. Is, is the people debut, behind the smokes are doing great debut. to help everyone, and they're, and they're picking the right DRX. times to go through. I mean, they're making a real statement. A couple of members of DRX Dude, have already said this team looks really so good. Just yet, but it's not even down to their mistake. No. Leviathan are prepared. For most of these hits when DRX do stack up, and like I said, those early indicators in terms of that proactivity we saw in the first three rounds, it's kind of made DRX... Taco, like you guys said, was the person to watch, 13, 13 to 3. King's doing great as well, to be honest. I mean, they're all doing great, let's be honest. Chat, who's the who's the caller in this team? He's doing it again. Who's the IGL? Unthinkable! Unthinkable! King what dealing the with hell? the utility in middle. They start to aggress, maybe trying King's to build IGL? that oh, really? in the swing okay. from short. And it was just such a fine margin. This is ridiculous. Wow, that's stuff. crazy that Taiko gets that kill. Absolutely unchained. Feverish behavior. That was a just a little jump spot here. Doesn't quite know Marco. May have spotted him earlier on. He seems super. Oh my god, that would tap. Again, the short pressure not really finding much. Seems segmented, it seems alone. So good, he has no idea about the guy close who just ate the flash as well. Nice from Buzz. 1v3 from Buzz. Right the right <laughs> they kind of need it. It's not going to happen, I don't think. 
they're spread out, so this guy's played it well so far, not wanting to give him a free kill, let the other players get into good positions. This guy mids played it well as well. Everyone's everyone's playing this well as well. I know they're all separately, but they they all have a very good idea of what to do. Uh, the Sova as well, moving back, not giving him the one-on-one, -on -one, not giving him a chance into it, making sure that his mates can actually get into good positions. Everyone played this, everyone played this so good. Dude, I haven't seen any kind of like what is this? like I haven't. Deals with the this was nuts, by the way. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, it must be nice. Look at that. Can't do any wrong. Yeah, yeah. horrendous yeah. slip up by DRX. How could they what, do what, that? what are you doing there? Sloppy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's one of the. Uh, you can't give those away. You really can't. <laughs> I mean, what are you supposed to do against? Uh, no, oh, yeah, like everything. It, they, honestly, they the cast is right. Everything's just going care. so. Like, this is, this is their game. Everything's going so like, right for the Bifon. Hands down. Ten one. See if they can keep this. Yeah, they're right. They, they, ne they never, they've way. never swung middle at the beginning. Uh, so that's why that, that's why he's been able to go for these offshore. It's really good prep as well from from the Bifen. Insanely good prep so far. Because I'm wondering how, again, like I said earlier, when he kind of peaked off this, why he had the confidence to just do it. They just know that they never swing here, so they're just looking at the tendencies and knowing what extra things they can get away with. Wow. You can see what DRX's game plan is, though, right? To try and abuse Heaven. To try and split onto A all the time. We, we've seen four rounds now where they've, they've tried to go uh, A Heaven. It actually has been the closest they've been to winning rounds, for sure. So I think the game plan kind of works, but it just feels like every the Vyfen gets two kills every single time. He's done what is necessary. He has an ult. But you still have to pull off it against two. Well, it's so hard to win. Beautiful shot to the ball. gonna happen. King, what a hero! What a what an incredible what an incredible half. This is a new contender for this crown, man. This what an incredible half. DRX in the first half. This is. I don't know what on earth we've just. Yeah. I mean, some of the cleanest, scrappiest Valorant we've this seen. This is crazy. Like, they're willing to just just dip their toes at the start of every single round and not allow DRX to set up. And like I said, there's not even early on trying to look for first place. DRX can't get past the, the opening gate. No. Last it, it's standing. composure and chaos. And it's such a rare treat to see this done against arguably one of the best, or one of the best teams at handling this style. Yeah. This was always wow. meant to be something the DRX are good at. We are just blown away by this. Analyst Desk, please I'm well impressed. I'm well impressed by them so far. They're they're very prepped on right. this map. It's they're very stuff. confident. <laughs> uh, like so, they've come out insanely uh, yeah. confident. Um, that was a half. That was a half of Valorant. Was that it was, really? Uh, it didn't feel like it, did no. it? Jess had a statement. She said uh, she was like, you know. Uh, I think we'll know how this game's playing out by the half. And when she said that initially, I was like, well, yeah, I mean, I, generally that is kind of how it is. Oh, my God, Jess, I'll never doubt you again. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mean it in that fashion. <laughs> I don't want to be given too much credit because no one expected that. Um, it is very hard. Fandor Phantom, it's situational. Very I do think the and Phantom is technically... Right better now, because of just like how like spamming fire. works in this game this and tagging right the fact that when you tag you get so, slowed so I much so i think spamming through smoke is maybe like insanely strong but being able to being able to one shot headshot is just so nice bro i actually think the um balancing of the guns is so perfect right now Thrives in that heavy utility situation, and Taco's taking fights against people that are having to break Rico dance and hordes and all sorts of stuff. But then he's also just so confident, and he's on fire. Uh, let me like rephrase that. that. I think the balancing of the rifles actually, actually is so perfect right now. Uh, yeah. I realize when I said I guns, that means that like and say the things that, that I'm including that like the shot. frenzy and the the judge and stuff. And they're now seeing yeah. a brand new they're monument. All. Yeah. Just stand strong in front of them. The marshal as well. In a lot of these rounds have had moments where they're just just not coordinated enough to convert. Take a look at this replay when they're trying to hit onto the site. This Do I think the judge belongs in this game? No, I don't think shotguns in, belong in, in smoke, FPS shooters like this. I don't He's I don't think they that. do. And, uh, and again the shorty also pretty strong. Uh, I don't like I don't like shotguns into this into these kind of games, but uh, they're here, so you should just you should just abuse them. And it's stopping RB from taking fair gunfights. He started this half zero and seven. He just couldn't find a Cool. All right, well, you heard it from the analyst. You'll join us after the game. It's time to jump back into the action. Pan Do you think we need more guns? No, I really hope they don't add more guns. I hope they don't add more guns. 
I'm, I'm glad they're as stunned as we are, because this is this is something to really um, remember. There is so many variables in this game. It's already hard to be super right. consistent with uh, how much this game changes. Like, the meta changes so much. The meta changes in like so much, and and like once you've shown a lot of like a certain comp, it's very easy to anti-strat. So teams already having to work crazy amounts. I'll stop talking. They use the classic vision strikers pistol. I respect this. Flash. Stun, uh, flash dash. This is this was literally what they created in Vision Strikers in like the first what three months of the game, two months maybe. Actually retaking all this space towards mid, so it's going to be a straight up two v four here for Taco and Adverso. Dude, I love the judge. Like when I play this game, I literally just play raise judge only because I just like that. I feel like that's the most fun I can have in this in this game. That's not gonna help. Like I don't care too much about playing ranks and stuff, so I literally just do that. This is the pistol that they needed. Show me some magic. Tap on the spike. Doesn't get what he wanted. Didn't get there in time. Gets a press, but back down to the classic. Still okay. gonna take one. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, Stax just needs to invest every knife to remove the headhunter. Bro, it's so yeah. fun. And then maybe you're fine. It's yeah. so fun. That, that's part of the mountain that's you have to climb to get back into this game. Um, but DRX have done as prescribed. But yeah, kind, kind of going back to what I was saying is there's so many variables in this game that it's, it's insanely hard for, for teams. And like, you see when Optic are talking about how much they're playing. Like, it's not an exaggeration. They are just having no time off because, trust me, when you go to these events especially and you have to play an event, like, in, in two weeks' time and you've shown so much, so you probably have to change most of your stuff up on seven maps and you have two weeks, do you understand how hard that is? And then you want a break because you've been playing the LAN. Like, it's so hard. It's so hard. So to add extra variables in, like new guns, I really hope they don't. I think we already have enough changes into this game. It keeps it so fresh. I'm, I'm down for just... Keeping it as it is, it's already hard enough. <laughs> okay, let's see if DRX can do it back to them. They have one. They have one mess up. Right, they, they can mess up once. Life, Leviathan, they can just kind of work their way through the rest of this game. They can cost anything for the RX, chipping away at that very slim chance they have already. But for now, Taco's the one that has the most likelihood to do the damage here. <laughs> the back of this, though, the president's shown toward B. Mm. RB's given up this space on. Yikes. Sure, just find it left. ahead of time, though. And just trying to thread the needle, find a little space on the map. Is that what the lower yeah, bracket matchup would be? That'd be cool. Just classics on the way around. The head hunt doesn't do anything. Dan King. Oh, yeah, I guess it would be. One with the bulldog. Ten seconds left. Okay, so four standing. Not too okay, nice. This is how the first um, eco round went as well for the Viathan as well. So one person. Get a bonus. What are we doing? Okay, so RB takes the ghost. Yeah, actually the byproduct of that. Not obviously getting the, the spike down. Come through here at least with rifles across the board. Shouldn't be any gaps in utility. There should be full shields across the board. It absolutely is. Okay, hardest round for DRX to win. DRX. Five guns out. This is when you're sweating. This could be 12 pretty quickly. Two Bulldogs. They have well, we a really good buy next round. round. So this is just full bonus from them like, still. Mechanically, these um, let's see. Prowler goes in, so they take B main control. Knife goes really. in, hits no one. So they know they're taking control over towards here and here. Um, they at least know that no one's here. In return, this is good from Leviathan. They see the util come out. Um, and they decide to take a main in return. We're starting to see this smoke a lot more. Uh, it's pretty nice from the defense side. Again, it's like once you've taken a main, it's once you take an A main and, and say that you've cleared this as well with the same util, so say you did like a prowler or whatever or, or like a drone, it, it just means that you then create the question mark that you could have gone back into wine. So then you have to be scared. So although they're taking the orb and you're giving it to them, um, it just makes it just makes a question mark here. So you have to use more utility and also you can be scared that you're going to get shot from the smoke here as well. So this smoke's really good. There's loads of smokes you can use on the defense side, right? You're kind of seeing them. You have you had this one here, then you have this one here, which you can kind of get behind as well, which which is scary. And then you have this one here that they could do as well. But most likely you're going to see smoke and then suck. 
Spike is making his way up short here, and it's a three-man stack from DRX. Okay, we can see it's going to be a uh, big split. Lots of pressure from short. Prowler goes in, Knife goes in as well, and these three go and stack onto sites here. So three people on the site that they're hitting. DRX have done great here, but guns aren't the best for them. Nice reaction. Nice reaction. Insanely well from stacks to get two. Well done from RB as well, pushing into the site as well, making sure that there was four people here. Really good from DRX. Uh, kill did come in the middle on the rotate, but DRX did great to actually stack in the right place. Like I said, this is, in theory, the hardest round, gun-wise, that they will have going into this. Um, depending on how Leviathan play it, obviously there will be hard rounds, considering how many orcs they can probably stack up. But that's an insanely good start for DRX, and they need to get this. It will be interesting to see how Leviathan approach this. You could literally just stack ults and just overwhelm for two rounds. Um, so we can keep an eye on if they are going to start to save ults. Especially in... Okay, I think this is very early to take this uh, timeout. I think you can consider doing this, to be honest. I think, like... As long as in your rounds you just focus on getting orb control and then you have three alts and you just overwhelm with the alts, I think you can give yourself such a good chance into winning this. But I'm not sure they can do that. Uh, on the attack necessarily, but Forts on the Heaven Smoke. I haven't seen which one they're doing. I, the I there's a Heaven Smoke that I like well and a Heaven Smoke I don't like, so I'll try and look out for it and tell you if it's well the one that I like or not. Here, how they look now, the, you know, the script's been flipped a bit, so... Well, I mean, we might see the byproduct here. What happens if you don't give Leviathan the opening jewels? What, what, what happens here? How do when, they force that hand? When they have to dig a little deeper and they have to burn up some of this Utah, which with this composition, I mean, Josh was making him some fantastic points about What was my prediction? I did think that like DRX were going to win this. Again, yeah, I hadn't seen Leviathan play at all. Um, so I'm yeah, still so going to have to go with DRX to win the best of three. Um, but <laughs> DRX it's not looking good. As deep as possible, but work. it's still early. And there's still more maps. They're insanely prepped on this map. Stinger with King. Uh, and then I had I had Optic winning as well. Um, I think Exit have the advantage because of how much Optic have played, but I just think the land diff is going to be different. And and I just think that Exit have given themselves too much pressure. They are just flying up the guts right now. Shai's just found RB. Chad, they had a. A and hero gun side, into this. Fast, this guy needs to go huge. Needs to get one more. On Sean, Winston, right now, that kill is massive. Stacks that kill the Saxus had enough. should the secure them the round. They don't know about this guy. Deadly. Wow, Mako actually back wins back that out as well. The other guy was low HP. So, really good attempt from Leviathan. They actually managed to have a big advantage into this way. He's 14 HP, but he has one minute to play with. So, if he waits, they'll have to be scared of these positions. Both. So yeah, he's just going to hold and wait and just make sure that they then... So this is what... You normally see this in different situations, but you call this just cutting noise, right? You cut noise and you're just... You're creating pressure in, in just certain situations, right? So that it's just faking the idea that you had the time to rotate into all of these areas. So instead of just watching the one choke point that you were originally in, they then have to worry about every kind of angle. So King's played this really well. He doesn't want to make noise now, so he kind of wants to get a kill before he gets the spike in again. He'll know that they probably have some kind of crossfire around this. The fact he's 14 HP, I think we're going to see... You can hear the... I wonder if it... You can silent jump spots and maybe it was that. Okay, really, really, honestly, really good round from Leviathan. With, with how much they invested into this, I think they'll be happy with how many guns they got. It was really close. Um, so interesting to note how I was talking about stacking ults. They use the um, KO into this. So I guess the stacking ults isn't something they want to approach. It is definitely the safer option. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Gampy, come on. Four rounds unanswered here. I think Leviathan's approach becomes now spread a little thin. Five vandals. Operator out on RB. In terms of the initial setup here. Doesn't look as if they're actively looking for one of these jewels. Recon onto middle. <laughs> and the same pressure that they did happens here, but this is interesting. So so Leviathan were doing this with no, uh, nothing at top of middle, right? No Utah top of middle, and they, they just knew that the tendencies out of all of the rounds they watched, I imagine DRX never swung middle, right? So they knew they could get away with just the dry thing here and nothing middle. DRX tried to do it back, but this time they have the smoke middle, and it was a good reaction from uh, Adverso here to kind of know that they might be going for this because why else would you smoke top middle? And just to fire a few bullets here. I respect the fact that RB was trying to punish what they were doing against them. Um... 
but it, uh, the reaction from Leviathan, especially at Verso here, was really good, so... And it is taking them quite a while to deal with some of these setups as well. The alarm bot now dealt with pretty late on in the round, 45 seconds left. Looks like B's gonna be main focus here. Okay, as we can see, it's... Kind of a B split. Thirty seconds. There's definitely a world where they could go back here, but it'd be such a bold call. Even Iron the Sova, who's lurking all the way through, he becomes like the hero player. Are they gonna go back? Yeah, I really thought they might go back with how this is. This guy realizes the short is clear, and they come all the way back. He gets the big kill onto site, and they're actually gonna go all the way to A. What an insane round. I thought with how they're positioned, they might call this. I'm really impressed that they call this. Such a good round from Leviathan. Such a good B fake. Uh, the Sova, definite shout out again into this round. Low HP, he decides to go for a luck. He actually sees and hears them rotating off. Gets the mo most important kill, and just calls for his guys to go back. There's 25 seconds, still enough time to rotate all the way back from short, so such a sick, such a sick round. Yeah, I saw the the nades just on top like a wire. Is he gets one, he gets two. This guy is like bottled lightning right now. Wow, insane! Really good round from Leviathan. That was great. Such a such a heavy fake, and it felt like it was the potential of it was planned. I think they still wanted to hit the B site for sure. Um, but when the Sov had got into this much space and heard the rotate and knew that this guy was coming heaven, as soon as he gets this. He, like they know that they can just go into the site. So really impressed with the council. Really impressed with the idea to luck, especially when he was low HP. I think he said that he wanted to luck into this round. Again, that's something that you can do a lot when you're low HP. You can kind of change this, and you can be the luck. It's when you can have the most impact. He kind of won the team the round on 50 HP. So pause comes in. 12-5. Yeah, bang on the money. It's a double-edged sword, right? Like I, I don't blame DRX for playing this way because it, yeah. it, it's the seven chances for them to close this out and with how they're playing i'm i'm pretty aware, confident which i really like seeing that they're able to exploit that or at least they're trying to this is scary times for drx because i'm gonna be honest it's technically if you know you're a, you're a betting man you, you play the odds you, or you know the games you, you know you follow the scene you didn't think this was a scoreline you'd have thought the overlay was wrong at this point but again the way these have played out it's been fantastic for watching yes taco's been a bit of a highlight for me but it's not without saying king's not been by his side shy's been they've been it's not a one-man show it's it absolutely okay. not show. and actually credit to seven chances what talking about the layering of this utility it's, it's yeah it's, this is gonna be hard for drx but let's we'll put it on the screen We'll see what they can do and see how uh, see how low they can get this number. Enough goes into market. It's going to hit two. Uh, recon goes to middle as well. So nice. It may be... Okay, yeah, this is the jet. They saw... Okay, so when they, when they shot that, they saw his arm when he peeked, so they knew that they have to use extra bit of util. Look at how much utility they're using in middle. It's crazy. Double Prowler, we had a nade, we had one flash. We maybe even got both flash. Yeah, we did. We got both flashes out from King. <gasps> he got a double. No, he got a double. The rotate was coming in as well. Oh, that's such an unlucky way bullets, to go just sweating bullets you're not happy it's all gone to pieces okay this is a good reaction the they ha they have to make a play anything. they have to get they some map control help. this is the guy that's going to make it wow he crouches oh, uh, or taco missed i didn't see it it's flicked to a too far either way the bullet goes over uh he makes the play to kind of give them back into the three and three so big hero play from buzz definitely something had to happen like this bit of map control so great from him and it, as we can see they're at least looking like they're going to go to his site but they might change once they shoot this because so shooting that then creates that the pressure, pressure that they can alone. get to here. Yeah, stats. so shooting the... Pr they're, they're really happy they got the alarm bot here. And they're just hoping that they can manipulate some kind of rotate for someone to be watching where this question mark is, right? Whether it's from B or A, so the A player is isolated. And as we can see, that's what's happening with the KO. So perfect calling from these guys. Time is low. This is a big kill. That's a big kill. How's this guy going to play it? He doesn't have to get too aggro. He can kind of wait for KO to make the next play. KO does make the next play. Perfectly done from DRX. This is a perfect example of how to play a four. V3. Like the um, no everyone played it perfectly. Them. Which is terrifying because when Leviathan are in a And I thought the push, I thought like Leviathan did great as well in terms of the mid rounding, right? In in terms of breaking the breaking the turret here, uh, sorry, breaking the alarm bot and knowing that they would have to rotate back. It, it was really good from both teams here. This was a really good example. That was extremely unlucky for DRX. Yeah, we see it from Zess. Okay. Right. 
They nice shot them. as well on the second kill. It's catching them off guard. They're not anticipating. Okay, 12 6, do that. Such, I've seen such good play from everyone. It's really nice to watch. Maybe they'll slow down now. That's a big kill. What? And Taco's just found. Where was he? Where? Barbie's just gone swinging out mid now. Was he just top mid? I guess he was just this top mid taking a jaw. Is it DRX? You're going to stabilize. You're not going to lose this round. Is that the operator down in mid though? If they can retake mid control, then it's a it's a huge upgrade. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. I just spotted it on the drone. Okay. And Hunter's Fury now invested as well. Catch a tag. I think we one. Uh oh, that stack's gone as well. This is not the round you're meant to be losing. This King's found Buzz. Well. It was never meant to be this round. Well, they, they lost to an eco. Still top mid. A lot of nice shots coming in. They played the I mean, perfect four v three, and then it all goes wrong against an eco. Just, a of just Leviathan hitting some shots. Leviathan they really, on the really Marco went big to this at the middle here. Idea, Maybe a bit too aggro, you could argue against an eco. I would argue it's a bit too aggressive against an eco. Well, it's not looking great already, is it? Door looks shut here in this round. Dives on in. It's the insanely impressed. I'm insanely impressed by this. Ascent's a good map for DRX. DRX. They made them... Embarrassing DRX. Im yeah. Eaten. They made them look uh, very average. Oh, they had a stranglehold on that game. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I mean, it's honestly terrifying. It's a team that uh, actually initially after the, the last couple of series, you look at DRX and you think, oh, okay, are we going to get it this time around? Is Copenhagen the one where we see everybody Finally. firing on all yeah. the This was their map pick. Exceptionally clean. But so yeah, I'm... Um, have just thrown all that out the window. That was a good game, chat. That that really was that was one of the that was one of the nice uh, um you know when you see those games and it's really one sided. This was just a actually really nice one sided game to watch um because it felt like DRX would were doing fine if that makes sense. Like DRX were doing good stuff still. Um, is mitigating that, that early but Leviathan just finding a first bubble, way better. It's something DRX are so good at you could see that they had like a relatively a okay game plan going into attack as well, where they abused like um, I mean, they never Heaven, had the control to right, the A splits, they, they, they sensed that that was their best way of winning rounds. Good, I feel like they got close.